everybody, it's Danielle. Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're having a great day so far, but it's about to get better because we are doing another Vocal Coach Reacts. Now, if you are new here, welcome. I am a vocalist and a vocal coach, and I love to do song breakdowns here on YouTube, usually that are live, but today I thought it would be fun to do a brand new song that just came out by Olivia Rodrigo called Driver's License. I'm sure that you guys have heard of it. It is like top in the charts, going nuts. It like hit number one the day that it was released. I have not yet listened to this song, so I'm very excited to listen to it and react to it and react to the music video. Olivia Rodrigo is definitely an amazing up and coming artist. I've heard some stuff that she has done on her Instagram that she just like writes in seconds, it feels like. She is such an incredible writer and I'm very excited to listen to this song. I've tried to stay off TikTok so that I don't hear parts of the song because I know it's going like viral on TikTok right now too. So I cannot not wait to react to this today. But before we get started, I do want to give a special shout out to Ranel. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for liking my videos and commenting on my videos. Your support means the world to me. And if you would like to be a next video shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment anything you would like down below, but don't forget to add the hashtag subscription squad. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Put your seatbelt on. Dinging sound. I got my driver's light. Wait, did you guys catch that? She, she literally used the of like the put your seatbelt sign on to start the song. That, all right, Miss Creative. That was very impressive. It's last week, just like we always talked about. Cause you were so excited for me to finally drive up to your house. But today I drove through the suburbs crying cause you weren't around. And you're probably with that blonde girl who always made me doubt. She's so much older than me. She's everything I'm insecure about Yet yeah, today I drove through the suburbs Cause how could I ever love someone else? I am in love with Olivia's voice. I think I first heard her sing on the High School Musical, the musical, the series, and I really fell in love with it there. First, because of her tone. Her tone is just so clean and so clear but yet you can hear so much emotion and passion behind the words that she sings. And I know that she writes her songs, which makes such a big difference because when somebody writes a song for you, you can of course sing to it, but writing your own songs makes such a different impact on people because you can truly hear the way they sing through the song. She's not just singing words of a song. It's, you can hear this experience that happened in her life. And that's something that I really love about Olivia is because I can hear that upon first listen and it's so effortless. It's just so easy for her and it's just beautiful. And I know we weren't perfect, but I've never felt this way for no one. And I just can't imagine how you could be so Oh my gosh, her switch is Guess so you good. you didn't mean what you wrote in that song about me. Cause you said forever, now I drive alone past your street. And all my friends are tired of hearing how much I miss you. But I kind of feel sorry for them. Cause they'll never know you the way that I do. Yet yeah, today I drove through. And pictured I was driving home to you And I know we weren't perfect But I've never 
Okay, I really liked what she did there. Sorry, my neighbor's dogs just decided to bark. But what I really love about this, I call this roller coaster singing if you're new to my channel, where we start at a certain level, we bring it up, we bring it back down, and then we bring it all the way up to a belt and then back down so that it's not just like at this level the entire time. There's so much more depth and just excitement in the song. And I really love that Olivia did this because it's showing off both of her voices, which I felt like in the series that she was in, we heard a lot of her falsetto and her mix, but now we're getting to hear a lot of her belt as well. On the first chorus, she went up on way, but in her falsetto, way for no one, kind of did a scoop up there, which I was excited to hear if she did it in her belt, which she did. Something I love about Olivia's voice is that it's so unique. I don't know if you're kind of noticing in the music video, but she kind of sings with her mouth half closed, which gives this effect of the cursive singing where she doesn't really enunciate all of her words to a T. Like she doesn't chew on them like a Broadway singer would. And I feel like I've heard a lot of artists try to sing in this cursive -y way, but I don't feel like everybody does a great job of it. And Olivia, her voice is so calming and so easy to listen to. The way that she sings in this very light cursive tone is just really beautiful and I'm really enjoying it. Okay, this happened in another video that I actually just reviewed, the like flashing of different scenes and then the standstill. I think that whoever does the videography work in this video and the video that I actually just watched, it is such a different way to experience a music video because it's not just always listening to the song, it's really like experiencing what's happening. And I love when they do this because it feels like their life is flashing before their eyes or all these scenes are flashing and we're kind of getting to live that out with her as she's singing this song, if that makes sense. But I love when they do that. In this light falsetto that she's doing just like so effortlessly, just so good. Wow, that was so good. Her range is so impressive, like her head voice range. I feel like a lot of singers have a very great range in their belt and in their mixed voice, but sometimes when it comes to their head voice, a lot of people don't sing in this high, light, beautiful falsetto voice. And I feel like I haven't heard a lot of singers sing with that voice in a long time. And so this was really great to listen to because it's just so calming, like her voice is so great. I really enjoyed this song and I can see why it went so big so fast. I cannot wait to have this on repeat in my car, but honestly, Olivia's voice and her songwriting are next level. Like I can't, I can't believe that she's only 17 years old 
Like writing songs is not easy and writing really great songs is not easy either. And I don't know if you guys follow her on Instagram, but sometimes she does these little sit down videos where she's just at her little piano and she sings this song that she wrote like super quick and it's incredible. And I'm just sitting here like, how, how I, I can't write, I can't write this good of songs. It takes me years to write songs like this. And she's just so talented. So thank you so much for having me react to this video. I really enjoyed it. And if you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I can't wait to see you guys so soon. Bye.